the 1990s hosted the golden era of adventures. Some didn't really hold up over the last 30 years, but then there were these games. The classic adventures that still hold up today. With excellent writing, engaging puzzles, colorful characters, and a unique approach to storytelling, you don't really need to have incredible graphics. However, many of these games still look good. Here's our list of 15 point-and-click adventure games that have stood the test of time. The Longest Journey With advanced visuals, HD texture packs, complex story that really is popular in today's movie industry, you have a great The Longest Journey game. Just turn on Netflix and you'll find several flicks that remind you of what The Longest Journey did 20 years ago. Number 14. Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. The story's incredible. Heck, there's a reason why many of us fans believe that this is the true next episode after The Last Crusade. The dialogue's witty and engaging, and obviously it being an Indiana Jones game keeps the interest alive 30 years later. The pixel art is a little outdated, and that keeps it from being higher on our list. However, with the pendulum swinging back toward pixel adventures, is it really outdated or is it perfectly charming? Number 13, Beneath the Still Sky. Steampunk, Nuff said. Oh, uh, you want more? Okay, okay. Tough guys, robots, witty dialogue, and a popular plot. Again, it's a little pixelated for many of the younger gamers, but uh, this game really, really holds up. Number 12, the Beast Within, a Gabriel Knight mystery. Groundbreaking FMV game that still looks good today. The Beast Within had a captivating plot that even in today's market is popular. It had one of the best stories of any game ever. Number 11, Toonstruck. Cartoony, comedy, smart aleck. That never goes out of style. Add the pop culture aspect of having Christopher Lloyd as the star and you have yourself a timeless game. And of course, there's the irony of a Christopher Lloyd starred game being timeless. You know, back to the future. Number 10, King's Quest 6, Air Today, Gone Tomorrow. Okay, it looks old, but dang is that a great story. The voice acting is incredible even by today's standards. And by the way, the fairy tales are chock full in this game. And when does fairy tales ever go out of style? Number nine. What has four legs, 63 teeth, long fluffy ears, and a callous disregard for private property? Meet Sam and Max, freelance police. Sam and Max hit the road. Sarcastic, masochistic, hilarious, top-notch voice acting. Iconic characters. This is the type of game that you'll see on adult cartoons on the Adult Swim cartoon channel. Enough said. Number 8. Full Throttle. Once again, steampunk. Bikes, beards, and bunnies. Pink bunnies. I'm not putting my lips on that. <laughs> this game still looks good even before the remaster. Number six and number seven. Monkey Island 1 and Monkey Island 2. I'm putting these together. These games have pirates, comedy, timeless puzzles like the insult sword fighting. That never goes out of style. I can guarantee you that if you played the game in your youth that you would periodically respond to certain conversations with insult like, you fight like a cow. While the original graphics may not be a captivating aspect for a younger crowd, these games stand every test of time that it's been put up against. Give us a movie already and don't, don't say Pirates of the Caribbean. Number 5. Leisure Suit Larry 7. Sex Cells. Sex is undefeated for better or for worse. This game has some of the funniest lines of all time. Hello Drew. Working hard, 
That's funny, coming from a guy with an elephant codpiece. The characters are hilarious. The graphics will attract any player, young or old. The scenarios stand up. I mean, this was the 40-year-old virgin before the funny-year-old virgin. Number four, Day of the Tentacle. Heck, Tim Schafer says that this game will hold up forever. Need I say more? No, but I will. It's bizarre, but in a captivating way. You have nerds, you have rockers, and you have cosplayers. It's one of those pixelated games that look incredible even before the remaster. And it's number four on our list. Number three, Curse of Monkey Island. A few slots ahead of its predecessors because it has some of the greatest voice acting of all time. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. The jokes are timeless. The cartoony art looks good and will look good forever. That's why it's two slots ahead of one and two. Once again, it has the pirate theme. Adult humor, it's slid into unexpected situations. And that is how you write a timeless classic. Number two. Buenos dias. Grim Fandango. Storytelling, characters, art, music, travel, mystery, captivating dialogue. It looks incredible. It's number two on our list. And number one. An innocent vacation in Paris unwittingly whisks young American George Stobart away on a mysterious and compelling escapade, which could change the fate of man. This is Broken Sword, the Shadow of the Templars. Broken Sword. It's the goat. No, not that goat. It's the greatest of all time. Templars? Yeah, it's got them. Name 10 things more captivating than a Templar story. It makes you want to travel, but that's just part of the allure. You can have something that's interesting, but doesn't always captivate you. You have to use what is interesting and make a great story out of it. And that is exactly what Broken Sword does. You're solving puzzles. You're going underground in Paris. You're solving mysteries and having a summer love with Nico. Beautiful art and perfectly placed musical cues that make you truly feel like you're there. Play this game. Broken Sword Shadow of the Temple. Number one on our list. There you have it, 15 classic adventure games that still hold up to this day. Special thanks to the adventure game communities on Facebook for their suggestions, and a big shout out to YouTube follower Tesos Podcast, who suggested that we make this video. Speaking of this video, if you liked it, like it. Subscribe if you want to check out our huge back catalog of adventure game content and at least one video a week. I'm Joshua with Weird Gaming Adventure, and we at Weird Gaming Adventure Love you in a weird way. See you in the next video.